Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Paul Morphy and Charles Lee Carpentier. This game was played in the United States in 1849. Play with black pieces in this game. Charles Lee Carpentier was Paul Morphy's uncle. Note that Morphy is playing without his queen's rook. Morphy had white pieces and he started with e4. Lee Carpentier played e5, knight to f3, knight to c6, d4, e takes on d4, bishop to c4, bishop to b4, check, c3, d takes on c3, and Morphy castled kingside. c takes on b2, bishop takes on b2, attacking the pawn on g7, bishop to f8. Perhaps knight to f6 should have been considered. Bishop to f8, e5, preventing knight to f6, d6. Rook to e1, lining the rook with the black king. Black to move, d takes on e5. Bishop to e6 would be better. d takes on e5 was played. Morphy's uncle followed the rules which says when ahead in material, exchange queens. Why to move? Knight takes on e5, queen takes queen. And Morphy's uncle, and Morphy's uncle was sure that he was winning, if rook takes queen. But Morphy played a better move, what would you do? Morphy played bishop takes on f7 check. King to e7. Why to move? How would you continue now? Morphy played knight to g6, double check, king to f7, king to d6, and black would have a better chance of surviving. King takes on f7, winning more material is not always the best idea, is it? What's wrong with this move? White play the move, white play the move. And it was checkmate. It's like a magic, isn't it? Morphy played with no rook, and yet he won so brilliantly. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess, and bye for now.